$200 monthly increase to Social Security benefits in May? That's a good question and exactly what we're going to focus on right here in the video. So let's get right into it. All right, now this is a question and a concern that I continue to see down below in the comment section on a very regular basis and exactly what I want to focus on for you right here in the video. As many beneficiaries are wondering, is it going to be arriving this month? Is it going to be arriving next month? Was it supposed to be arriving this past month or is it going to be arriving sometime Time in the relatively near future? That's a great question. And again, what I want to focus on to let you know where we currently stand on this, because we all completely understand fixed income beneficiaries need a lot more money right now, especially during this very expensive and high inflationary time we're currently living through. So let's get into it and discuss all the details. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video as it's totally free to do so. And because because I am your one and only daily advocate. It is my dedication, my commitment, and my promise to you and everybody right here in the community to continuously watch all of these new updates, hitting the wire, doing the necessary research, and breaking it all down into these short videos so you can see how it's going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account, and of course, anything popping up right now we can possibly grab and or take advantage of, and of course, anything coming out of Congress or the administration to change Social Security, raise benefits, or reform this very important program where about 70 million beneficiaries receive monthly checks. Very, very important. So either way, I'm watching all this stuff very closely and I want to help you out in any way that I can, which is my promise. And as always, I'm sticking to it. So again, please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet so you don't miss any videos going forward. And let's get into it and talk about a $200 monthly increase to Social Security benefits. We've talked about this and we've heard about this a ton over the last couple of years. Let's talk about where we currently stand because this has been in the headlines a lot again lately as Bernie Sanders is out pitching this and pounding the table on this thing yet again. All right, so let me bring up to speed as far as where we currently stand on this. And yes, I completely recognize I've talked about this a number of times in previous videos. However, a couple years ago, remember way back in 2020, we got those three senators come out who introduced this, but then it kind of disappeared and we haven't heard anything about it up until about a year ago. In fact, it wasn't even a year ago quite yet. It was about, what was it, maybe 10, 11 months ago, something like that. So not even quite a year ago, Bernie Sanders and some other Democratic senators came out and they reintroduced this as the Social Security Expansion Act. Well, then we didn't hear a whole lot about it right after the introduction of this thing. We heard about it quite a bit and then we didn't hear anything about it up until about three or four months ago. Then it started to gain a bunch of traction. And then again, about two months ago or so, give or take a little bit, uh, Bernie Sanders was out meeting with the president, talking about his plan, the Social Security Expansion Act, where he wants to increase solvency, increase taxes, increase benefits, and a whole variety of other changes to Social Security. And again, he is very, uh, you know, dedicated to this plan. And again, this is his plan as far as what he wants to do to change Social Security and ultimately reform these benefits. Long story short, are we going to be getting a raise this month? Is it going to be implemented this month? Well, here's what it comes down to. This has not made its way through Congress quite yet. Unfortunately, even though Bernie Sanders has been out talking about this a ton, even though Bernie Sanders has had a meeting with the president, he's been talking about this, the president is on board with raising taxes and a variety of other things, it has not been implemented as in it has not been passed through Congress yet, okay? So unfortunately, even though we have Bernie Sanders, we have the president on board, we have other lawmakers on board with this thing, it still needs to make its way through the congressional process. In other words, being passed through the Senate, being passed through the House, sent over to the president, and of course, signed into law by the president. That is the steps it needs to go through, right? So this is still something that is in the works. However, we can't throw this thing into you know the garbage pile quite yet and say, well, it's over. It hasn't been passed yet. It's never going to get passed. I wouldn't say that quite yet. Here's why. How many times have we seen over the past few years here, Bernie Sanders come up with a plan and he starts talking about it a ton, making a bunch of noise about it, making a big deal about it. And we think, oh, it's just Bernie making a big deal about something again. And then sure enough, at some point it comes in and then all of a sudden they get it passed. How many times have we seen that happen over the last few years? We've seen it a few times. So again, whether you like Bernie Sanders or not, whether you like the president or not, I'm not here to take sides politically. I'm not here to bash anybody in particular. I'm just simply saying, you got to watch all this stuff very closely because you never know. Sometimes Congress has sneaky ways of doing things where all of a sudden we don't think they're doing anything. And before you know it, oh, hey, check it out. Behind closed doors, we've been working on this and 
member voting on it next week. We've seen that before as well. Just like last year, the Inflation Reduction Act, which <laughs> has it really in, has it really reduced inflation? Well, that's up for grabs at this point. Uh, but again, that whole thing, it was a $900 billion package, almost a $1 trillion package. Behind closed doors, they talked about all the details of this thing. We didn't really know anything about it. And all of a sudden they came out and a few days later, they were voting on it. Do you remember that? Yeah, exactly my point. So I've got to watch all of this. But when it comes down to it, I get it. It's incredibly frustrating. Right now, I've seen the comments down below. Many people here in the community saying they're dragging their feet. They know we're struggling. They took all of our benefits away. Yeah, they've been doing a lot of different things here lately. Over the last few months here, we've seen the expiration of a few different things like SNAP benefits back in March. The extra allotment, again, it's been a tough time here over the last few months. And again, these lawmakers, they understand. They may not verbalize it. They may not come out in public and say, oh, we we know about 70 million people here in the country are having a, p a pretty tough time. They know it, but they might not verbalize that because as soon as they come out and they publicly announce this stuff, then they're on the record of it, right? So they, they pretend a lot of times like they don't know what's actually going on. Now, some people out there like Bernie Sanders and a handful of others, they actually come out and they verbalize this stuff and say, hey, we got to do something about this. We need to change. There's seniors that are struggling. There's people with disabilities that are struggling. There's low income beneficiaries that are struggling right now, and we've got to do something about about this. So there's a few people that do this, like Bernie Sanders is one of them. And that's actually pretty a good thing. Now, here's the thing. Bernie Sanders is also one of these people that he basically says a lot of stuff. And again, that's not necessarily a bad thing, okay? Bernie Sanders makes a lot of noise. He rattles the cage quite a bit. And he, a lot of times, gets action out of Congress, okay? So that's what I'm saying. You got to watch Bernie Sanders no matter what, no matter where you stand with him. It doesn't really matter. And again, I'm not here to tell you how to feel about it. I'm just simply saying we got to watch Bernie because when he introduces something, when he talks about something, when he wants to get something done, generally, not always, but a lot of times he actually gets what he wants done, okay? He gets a lot of it anyway. So that's why we gotta watch this. So this is the Social Security Expansion Act. And like I said, no, unfortunately, a $200 per month raise has not been passed through Congress yet. So no, it was not supposed to start last month. No, it is not gonna be starting this month. No, unfortunately, it's probably not gonna start next month either, okay? Could it possibly be something that passes in six months or longer or shorter in three months? It could. I mean, seriously, we've seen things like this pass through Congress very, very quickly before. But here's what it has to do. It has to work, uh, work its way through Congress, as in the House of Representatives, the Senate, and then again, get a signature from the president in order to turn it into law. But then the next question would be, okay, let's just say they pass it. Great, now what? Well, then we got to ask ourselves, when would they actually implement this? That would be the next question, because sometimes we've seen this before with other bills and packages passed through Congress, and they say, there you go, it's done. And then we look into the fine print and it says, oh wait, it's actually not gonna be implemented until the start of next year. We've seen that happen before as well, okay? So that would be the next big question that we would need to wonder is, okay, if they do pass it, would they actually implement something like this immediately? Or would they start it at the beginning of the next calendar year or possibly the next fiscal year, which would be uh, either October 1st of this year or possibly, obviously, January 1st of next year? Again, that would be the next wild card that would be up in the air. We wouldn't know those details, of course, until they actually work their detail, uh, the, their, all the details out on this piece of legislation, and we wouldn't know that quite yet. The bigger thing would be right now just to get this through Congress and to start working on all the fine details of this. But... Bernie Sanders is very much sold on this plan, and it's not that bad. I mean, here's the thing. There's a few things in there that a lot of us may not like. Um, there's a few things in there that some of us may like, but ultimately, at the end of the day, it would also include a $200 per month increase to monthly benefits or $2,400 per year more for Social Security beneficiaries. So that is in there as well, okay? But uh, we'll have to see what happens here. Um, but at, uh, at the same time, I want to point this out. We've seen here over the last several months, in fact, since about the beginning of this year, or even the last couple months of last year, we've been seeing for probably six months now, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of talk out of Congress about Social Security, raising benefits, reforming the program, uh, raising taxes, adjusting the way that the, the annual cost of living adjustment is calculated, a whole bunch of different things that have been coming out here. We've been seeing tons of proposals and they're likely going to be choosing a variety of these. So it doesn't mean that they're gonna choose just one and say, okay, this is it, we're gonna run with this and that's all we're gonna do. It's likely gonna be a combination of many of them, including possibly raising the full retirement age, possibly raising taxes, possibly uh, doing a couple other things. But 
it's likely going to come down to at least a couple of these different things that Congress will likely implement, okay? So that's what we got to continue watching because Social Security will be changing. Pretty much guarantee it. It will be changing to some degree. How? Well, we don't know until Congress actually finishes up all the fine details of this. Either way, I'll continue watching this. I hope this answers your question again. I know it's a tough time. I know it's a very expensive time. I know it's incredibly frustrating and it's very annoying when Congress continues to drag their feet and they're working very, very slowly on this. I get it. You know what I mean? I want something like this to pass it just as much as you do because here's the thing. I see the struggle down below in the comment section. Anybody in Congress who doesn't believe that uh, seniors, older adults, people with disabilities and fixed income beneficiaries are struggling right now, I would challenge them to read through the comment section of literally any video here and they can clearly see the struggle that is really going on right now, especially over the last, what, two years or so since inflation has been very, very high. It's just been getting worse and worse, right? And all of that started in about mid-2021, you know, obviously, give or take a couple months, but around that time. So coming up on basically two years now. Anyway, hope this one helps you. Again, I'm here for you in any way that it can be. Please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day. Take care, and I'll catch you again later in the next